Hey there, Nick Trutakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use the get diff command along with the quiet flag, which is going to either exit with a status code of one or zero, depending on if files or files have changed in your Git repo. Now, this could be very useful if you wanted to programmatically update a file in your Git repo. Maybe you're doing this in a CI CD pipeline. Potentially, you wanna do something only if a file or files have changed. Now, before we get into the exact use case of why I came up with the solution, et cetera, et cetera, I'll let you look at the code here while I go over my use case. So for me specifically, I had a CI CD pipeline set up up and I had a script that was running, which will potentially update your Docker file. Now I say potentially because it's gonna look at your Docker file, see all the base images that you have, and then it will go and update them to the latest version if it happens to detect that they're out of date. So basically it will modify your Docker file uh, if you wanted to, but it could also totally run and then there's just nothing to update, right? So the file won't change. And inside of the CI CD pipeline, what I wanted to do was one, update that file, and only if that file changed, then I wanted to go ahead and make a pull request. And uh, after that, you know, other stuff in CI CD would run, but basically the long story short there is if the file didn't change, no PR would be created. If it did change, then let's make the PR about it. So I came up with this idea of a little wrapper script that I created. Now this script is basically very similar to what I'm using in production, but it's a little bit different in the sense that it's like not specific to Docker, right? So you can imagine like over here, we were running that command to potentially update the Docker file, which I will open source that script. By the way, I just want to run it a little bit more in production. And then over here, instead of looking at the literal demo script itself here, you know, this over here would say Docker file. And then down here, instead of the echo, you know, it was just running the pull request. But uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and run this just so we can see what we're working with. And then we'll peel back the details and kind of run some stuff manually to see how things uh, all work in the end. But if I run this here, notice that we are getting exit code zero. That is because I do have my prompt set up. I just knew that beforehand. Like this will turn red if the status code is ever anything but zero. And uh, we do not see the echo here. Why? Because this shell script, I didn't change anything. So if I do a git show here, uh, I didn't do... Yeah, anything. This is a. I just did a get init and I commit this file as is, and there we are. Now, if I go here though and make a change to this file and re rerun the demo script, then it now shows that we are getting uh, that echo. So you can imagine like this would be the pull request being created. Why? Because this script or this file in this specific case was changed. Now it is still exiting with a status code of zero. That is because this script itself, it actually exits normally with status code zero. So, you know, if I wanted to exit with a one here, technically I could, uh, but I didn't want to do that in anything like a CI CD system because, yeah, I just didn't want things to break or halt if uh, the PR did or did not get created based on diffing this file. And that's actually why I have the andian exit zero here, because with the flag that we have set up here with quiet, this will actually exit with a one if there is a diff in the file. So now if I run this, notice we are just getting the red dollar sign. We're not even completing the rest of our script here because I have set E set here or set O or exit basically saying, you know, if any uh, program or command that you run in a script happens to be an exit code of one or something not zero, then it's going to halt the entire script. And I didn't want that in my case for CI. So I did the and and exit zero here. Uh, and now we get what we want here, which is, you know, the capability of detecting if it changes or not and if it did then the rest of the script continues onwards and we do whatever we want but if it doesn't then yeah we just exit zero here so you know just to peel that back once more and run that then we get no changes here the little wrapper script exits and the pr doesn't get created and we can move on with life so that is basically how all of this works here and there are some interesting subtle differences with the get diff command. There's a couple of different flags that we can play around with. Uh, I settled on quiet because it seems to be a combination of two different flags together. So if you run a get diff here, um, well, I'll just run quiet on the demo script here, just so we can see here, you know, again, didn't make any changes to the file. Now I make a change to the file and run it. We're going to get the exit code one. Why? Because quiet will specifically throw an exit code one if there is a diff and zero if there is not. And what we could also do though, is run exit code like this directly instead of using quiet. And this will do the same thing. However, it's also going to show the get diff itself, right? We can see like, hey, here's a change in the file. Or, you know, if we do this, and, and notice too, by the way, it did it with exit code one as well. But if I run this, notice that, uh, you know, we're not getting any output and it is exit code zero. So this exit code will, yeah, just instruct get diff to be like, by the way, if something's changed, cool, exit code one. But, you know, if we do have this change here, I kind of don't really care that much about the diff itself, right? Like I only want to know if it changed or not. So there is another flag that we can do too called no patch. And that will, uh, yeah, just basically do what quiet does. So as far as I know, and I'll make a 
thing or back to like no change here and just rerun it so you can see that there's Xcode zero here, right? Um, but it seems like quiet basically combines both of these flags together. So Xcode and no patch, we either get the Xcode one or zero and we don't see the patch, which is uh, kind of nice. So it, it, it's weird though, because like you can technically run all three of these together and Git doesn't care, like it's still going to work, right? As if uh, we were just running quiet by itself. So there's nothing at the Git level that prevents you from like combining all of these, but yeah, I'd rather run I'd rather run quiet itself instead of using Xcode and no patch together. But if you had some other slightly different use case, like maybe you would want to do just no patch, or maybe you want to do just Xcode or something like that, because maybe you do want to see um, the actual Git diff, right? So then you could just use Xcode by itself, or maybe you know you always want it to be Xcode zero, but you do want to see the patch, so you know you can basically fiddle around with these to solve whatever problem that you have. But I think that is going to be it for this video. So like all my other videos, uh, I do have a blog, so feel free to check that out if you want to just you know get an example of the script here, copy paste it, etc. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. And uh, with that said, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up, helps a lot, and I will see you in the next video.